Hi everyone. In this part of the tutorial, we'll uh, create the refined mesh. The mesh we created in the previous videos are basically nominal mesh of uh, 200 feet by 200 feet size. So now we'll just refine this mesh using our roadway shape file and stream shape file. You can see the mesh we have, it's there. And now let me just turn this uh, 2D flow area into editing mode if you click on this button now it's in editing mode we already added the meanings refined region here calibration region so i can turn it off to see yeah let me just uh turn it off we don't need the infiltration or anything to see here we already have those uh, files in the folder and we already connected those to our geometry data set so now if you want to refine any mesh so first we'll just refine the mesh using the road network so go to break line and right click on it and just import the same way we imported other chef files import feature from chef file and then go to the folder we just used to create the different chef files from the toolbox now uh, we saw that in gis so if i go to this folder and I already have those in work area one and then first I'll just uh, import road non-refinement road means those roads are outside of our community if we would have any community or city then uh, we could use the refined road network because we don't have anything so whatever road we have those are basically non-refined road and if I import it there, you can see all the shapes of the roads are there. And in order to refine the road, we need to assign the refinement of uh, like values. So we need to use the near spacing as near spacing. We have it as 50. Uh, so for this case, it's 100 feet. And near repeat is also, there won't be any yeah, near repeat, it's zero basically but we have the field to add i created all those things using the toolbox the toolbox will automatically add those values we'll see and far spacing is also far spacing and there and here like enforce one cell protection radius it will be turned on automatically for roadway and we'll see that later on so if i just import i just imported see the road network but still, if I zoom in, there is no refinement, see? It's just following the road and everything. So you need to make sure that your road network is basically following following the terrain. Otherwise, it will just create a mass. So, okay, just right click on it and open the attribute table. And you can see that near spacing is 100 feet. And near repeat is zero. There won't be any repetition. And for spacing, how far it will go. So is also 100 feet. So we're just refining the mesh from 200 feet to 100 feet basically. And here enforce one cell protection radius means at the end of the mesh. So it will just enforce up to one cell. We're just turning it on, all are selected. You can just uh, close it because it's already selected. You can right click on it here and then enforce all break lines. So whatever break lines we have here, it will just enforce and it will refine based on the criteria we just set. That is 100 feet. So let me do that. It's already performed the job. If I zoom in, you can see the refinement, right? It's following the shape file we added here. And this you have to check everywhere. So it basically refined the mesh following the road network. It should do the job everywhere, whatever shape you have. Then you can manually add a shape if you miss something. The problem I told you, like if you see any red dot, that means we have cell faces or edges more than eight. So you can count it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's why it's showing this error. But we have the option to uh, remove this error and we'll see maybe several hundred error, but we have automatic uh, tool to do that. And if there are still some of them, so we can manually correct all those errors so we can see. 
So it's showing like no error now, but whenever you will save it, you can see more errors as well. So what next? Now we have to import the stream share file and we have to do the same thing, but we'll do it a little bit different. Right click on it and then import features from share file and just click here, go to the same location, work area one, and find non-refinement stream. These are refinement streams means if we have any roadway, any cities or population, any community, then we'll have a refinement region. And within that refinement region, it will even refine farther, maybe uh, 50 feet or more than that, whatever value we'll assign in the toolbox. So we basically assigned 100 feet for all, but we won't even use the cell enforcement uh, for stream. So let's select non-refinement streams and open and do the same thing. Near spacing means near spacing. Near repeat means near repeat. Far spacing is basically far spacing. So you don't need to do anything else. Just import and it imported and showing these are selected. See, only selected this. Now, if you just enforce, let me just right click on it you can't even enforce all this time so open and just try to see what we have so now you can see these are the road that's why the prefix says this road all the roads are there and at the end it will add the streams and you can see these are the streams starting with streams so what we need to do you need to select this one so we have stream from here to, we need to remove the sticks and then you can select shift and you can select all this and you can just remove either one by one or you can even use space bar to deselect all. So now we just remove this uh, enforce one cell protection radius but if you just only want to refine the streams or any specific uh, location using any shape file you need to select only that shape file. So we we are not done with streams. So we just remove this. So select again, and we all selected here. So enforce selected break line. Now, if you just click on this, it will just only enforce these streams because we're done with roadway network. So we are not going to toss those anymore. If we need to, then we can do that. But for now, we don't need it. So click OK. I think it's done follow any stream and you can see if there is any it didn't do anything let me see it should sometimes it won't but we need to enforce okay what happened okay let me check it again we have to select enforce selected break lines Wait a minute. Yeah, these are the break lines we have here. We're just selecting everything. Yeah, we selected. And then enforce break lines. We selected all. Okay, let's do that one more time. Yeah, now it's working. You can click OK or and cancel or close. Hopefully yeah, it's done previously. I think we didn't click it the, the right way. So it basically following the stream and then it, it refined. However, we saw some red dot if you zoom in, but we'll see how many we have after exiting that editing mode. So these are the challenges you have to face. And then what we'll do, we have our cart line because uh, we have uh, streams that is basically crossing here, here at multiple locations. So those are the culverts or breezes. We need to remove the blockers from the terrain. So we already have our share file. We'll just cut the terrain in a certain way. We'll assign a certain length of 10 feet, and then we'll do that. So, okay, so let's save it because this is the cell refinement. And if you save, it, will, it is going to save the cell. And here you can see if you have any error, it will give you this option here. So let's zoom in again and see 
yeah it's done so what you can do you can see that it's showing that fail to load that means it didn't even save accurately maybe there is still some error but that's not a problem so what you need to do you can again you can even uh, put it into editing mode and because we have error we can zoom in and we can see there are multiple errors so yeah but that's the issue like sometimes it will happen to you as well so what you can do you can right click on this and if you want try to fix all meshes it will just fix everything okay click on that it will just regenerate it will do and that's the thing like yeah i deleted it added cells and you have this number of 39 cells where you have maximum eight faces so even if you zoom in and you can see this is because of the refinement because if you refine the shape of the cell will be a little bit different right we are refining here we're refining here so we have got a cell that has more than eight faces and we have total 39 locations where we have different yeah more than eight cell faces so what we have to do you can still try to fix all meshes and it will just repeat it will try to remove those see now what we have we have only two it removed everything so if you have two you can just do the same thing sometimes you may have more than 600 locations where you have this cells with more than eight faces so you have to just repeat it and it will just reduce but i'm going to show you a manual process as well if you want to manually remove if you have only like 10 20 or five six locations so just turn on the computational point and here just add a new feature then that means if you select this computation point that means whatever new feature you will add it, it will just add the point so you can just put anywhere it just divided into two and you can see the problem got resolved and then find the other location zoom out and see one is there it has even round shape it has many so just click here it got resolved there is no red dot so now if you try to save means if you just exit that editing mode save it and it's saving now there is no error so what you can do you can just run the model now you can turn off this to make it a little bit clear view so that you can see so our mesh is ready our refinement is also done and it's correct there is no error so what we need to do we need to add the train modification thing to correct the terrain using the cut liner culvert or breezes. So what you have to do, just right click on it and then you need to add basically. You can edit or just add new modification layer first and then shape. What is going to be the shape? Because we added a line, we want to use a line to cut it so go to lines if you want to add any high ground like if you want to add a dam you can use high ground if you want to cut a, a line if you cut it like channel at low ground so just select channel and you can give the name as culverts because we are going to cut a culvert so we'll cut a channel that has a trapezoidal shape means uh, base width we have side slopes and top width as well and also the length for example uh, here dash the channel we have blockers so if we import any shape file following this so it will just cut and remove the ground and here as as well because in in reality there is a blockers but we have culvert to because that's the streamline it's showing that okay we have a connectivity so we need to uh, restore the connectivity so here if you just right click and just import just first import the shape file otherwise when we can manually draw and we'll do that later on but whatever we have from the automatic tool we can import the feature from shape file 
And uh, then we can go to the same folder GIS and then we have everything inside our work area one. And I already mentioned that we have this culvert here. Inside this culvert, we can see we already have all the properties. If I show you what are the properties here, this is the culvert you can see. If I show you the attribute table, you can see it has the top width, left and right slope, maximum reach length, and the names as well. So we'll just utilize those attributes here as well. Yeah, so select it and then open. You can see these dots. That means it's okay. Top width is going to be the top width if there is any. Uh, the length, okay, it's not showing anything here. Is it the right one? Okay, let me check. Let me check if it is the right one we selected. Otherwise, we have to go back and check again. Okay, we can copy. I don't know why I saved it, but yeah, I think it should be there. I can copy the location and then I can add it here. Right click on it, import from feature, go there, turn it on. It's not giving you the option, but yeah, that's okay. We can we can manually add it. That's okay. We can just import. We can import it for now. So it imported. See this chefs basically. You can draw it manually. It already cut it, but we'll check if it is accurately cutting anything in a different way or not. But usually it should cut the way we assigned. See it already removed the blockers. So you can right click. You can even see the attribute table and you can see it has everything. Yeah. It's already performed the job. Yeah, that's okay. And later on, we'll check. You can just uh, remove the editing mode with the modification and you can just save it. That means it's saved and it modified and still there will be some blockers and we'll see maybe what will be stored here. So we have to remove these blockers, but we'll do that. We'll check in manually. So that is another level of job after running the model for the first time. Then you can, you have to check all the crossings, every crossing. Sometimes you need to make it a little bit wider. Sometimes you need to make it a little bit narrower to represent the channel. And not only this, water may be stored here. There may be some temporary storage or some pond. So whatever storage we'll have, we just need to remove those blockers. And here, see, we don't have any shaft, but whenever I'm pretty sure, whenever we'll run the model, uh, we have to use a cut line here. We'll do that manually just after running the model. We'll investigate, and there will be many. But for culverts, so these are the blockers we'll remove manually, but those are not representing as culvert. So culvert will be there only if you have any crossing, the road where road crosses any stream. So that's the idea of culvert. So we are done with this modeling and next we need to set up our computational parameters. We need to calculate the current number. We need to fix our uh, computational time based on the cell size. I'll show you how to calculate that and I'll run the model in the next part of the tutorial. So yeah, that's that. In this part, we just uh, use the trip file of road and the streams to define the grid. And we also modified the terrain using uh, culvert shift file. So that's it for now. And in the next part, we'll run the model and we'll see the result. If everything is okay, then the model will run. And maybe I don't know how long it will take, but I'm hoping to uh, get the simulation within a couple of hours. Yeah, thank you so much. If you have any question, you can uh, put your comment in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.